Hello, and welcome to Did You Know Gaming Extra. On today's episode, we'll be taking a look at some of the weird marketing stunts from the video games industry over the years. To kick us off is an amusing battle between Nintendo and a history museum in Vermont. In March 2017, David Young and Tim Kwong from Nintendo of America competed against Tyler Catterall and Elena Perkins of Billings Farm and Museum to see who could collect the most milk in a given time. The only catch was that the four participants were milking virtual cows from the minigame Milk, included in the party game 1-2 Switch for the Nintendo Switch. The challenge came about after the dairy farmers sent a bullish letter to Nintendo claiming that the game had taken all the challenge out of milking. We have 30 prize-winning Jersey milking cows that we milk twice a day, and it is never that easy. We also think you guys look pretty slow. The farm also posted a picture of the letter on their Facebook and linked Nintendo to it. No more than six minutes later, Nintendo responded with the words, Challenge accepted. And so they sent their men to set the record straight. And that they did. Not surprisingly, the animal rights organization, PETA, also had something to say about the game. However, their issue wasn't about how difficult the milking process was, but how cruel. In a letter to Nintendo, Peter suggested that for true realism in the game, it would require the violent insemination of female cows, and the sounds of them calling out for their forcibly removed young. They did also suggest creating a game with no cruelty, such as an almond milking minigame, where the player picks almonds. Despite their usual vocal nature, Peter had nothing to say about an ad campaign for Capcom's Resident Evil 6, which some argue is the grossest PR stunt for a video game yet. The campaign initially began with several brutal murder scenes being set up and photographed outside of major media companies in London. The photos were then sent to local members of the press with an autopsy report detailing the causes of death, which are also possible in the game. They even got St. Bartholomew's Hospital Pathology Museum on board to help make things look extra grim. 125 journalists were also sent fresh meat packaged to look like supermarket items, but were labelled as Javo Court Human Thigh Steaks and Peppered Human and Lemon Sausages. The campaign culminated weeks later with Wesker and Son Resident Evil Human Butchery. This was a pop-up shop in Smithfield Market which looked like a regular butcher shop, but it was filled with fake dismembered body parts, edible products for purchase, and a full-sized meat model of food artist Sharon Baker. The stunt materialized after Capcom asked the PR firm to raise awareness of the game within the non-gaming community, and the team decided to do something a little bit different. Electronic Arts also tried to do something a little bit different with a PR stunt they carried out in 2008 to promote Mercenaries 2 World in Flames. At 6.30am on a September morning, a garage in Finsbury Park was hijacked and transformed into a military operation complete with actors dressed up in army fatigue. Their aim was to give £40 of free fuel per person to every customer who showed up until their £20,000 budget was exhausted. The plan backfired, however, when the surrounding area became gridlocked during the morning rush hour, leading to the operation being shut down just four hours after it started. Despite a lot of disgruntled customers, including one woman who had been waiting 40 minutes to get fuel, and a man who had to wait over 10 minutes just to get out of his driveway, the response was still fairly positive. One man said, This is a genius idea. Whoever thought of it should be promoted. I'll definitely be buying the game. You're never too old to play video games. And now for this episode's random piece of trivia. Today we're talking about Blaster Master Boy for the Game Boy. The international version of the game has a few changes, with the most notable difference being the game's fourth boss. In the western version of the game, the boss appears snake-like but the original Japanese boss looked quite phallic. It also didn't help that the boss had an eye on the end, and enlarged throughout the battle. It's safe to say, this change was for obvious reasons. And if you want more facts, check out the videos on screen. If you like this video, you could also give it a like and subscribe to the channel. It'll really help us out. You gorgeous beasts, you. Oh yeah, come on.